It's Tuesday, December 21st, and I have just seen a clip on TV, a clip that speaks about democracies, and the the U.S. is no longer considered a democracy. They are considered an inocracy, which is a very flawed democracy. Now, I have said that several times in the past couple of months probably, that we have fallen from the ranks of a true democracy. And we have fallen from these ranks because of the actions that have taken place over the last five years or so. We have a nation that is desperately split apart. And we have a nation that no longer is capable of working together. And based upon these findings by several institutions... They are claiming that we are on the verge of a civil war. We're closer to a civil war than we have been in the last, what is it, 150 years or so, right? And why? Why is this happening? Well, part of it is because of the autocracy of our former president. And they, he has captured the minds of many people in this country and open cans of worms that were lying under the surface for many, many years. And I'm talking about the discrimination. I'm talking about the fact that we have major rallies for various groups, white nationalists, Black Lives Matter. We're no longer capable of putting aside our feelings and working together. The primary information about the state of our democracy is coming from an organization that's called the Center for Systemic Democracy. And they watch it. They gather information from all sorts of places. And it's clear to them that we have fallen into this category called inocracy. So based upon their analysis of what is going on, the U.S. falls somewhere between a flawed democracy and an autocratic state. Now, certainly if we look at Biden, he's not at all autocratic. But after Trump, probably nobody would look autocratic. So based upon the data that this organization has collected, they've determined that we are closer to the civil war than any time in our past history. See, what's happened in this country, we have entrepreneurs that are using racial or ethnic uh, situation to rally people to their causes. We don't have people who are capable of ignoring the ethnic slurs. And I cite for you the example of the the Charlottesville group in Virginia yelling out loud, Jews will not replace us. So we have people in this country who are building organizations based upon their view of the ethnic makeup of the United States. And that has caused us to become a less democratic state. That has led us to voter subversion. And if you are interfering with the rights of people who want to vote, then certainly you are a flawed democracy. There can be no argument about that. So this organization of systemic democracy has put the U.S. on a watch list because they believe we are very close to civil war. They believe that the incidents of racism and white national rising have put us on this watch list. They are waiting for the signs to show that we are on the verge of civil war. And their signs obviously are showing that we are on the verge of civil war. And I don't know how, how we can defend ourselves and say we're not when we look and see the facts of the way our government is behaving, where we have a Congress and a Senate that are at each other's throats, so to speak. 
And we have senators who are saying that if Stephen Breyer resigns, there is no way that they are going to appoint any Biden nominee to the Supreme Court. So when you have senators who stand up and say that, what more proof do you need than that we are a flawed democracy or an inocracy, as they called it? Imagine senators who openly say they will not support any Biden nomination for the Supreme Court. And we know that that's true. So if anything happens, if there is a change in the balance of power in the 2022 election, then Biden will never get any appointment through the Senate. All the Senate has to do is get one more Republican seat and then they will control the Supreme Court. And if you look at the Supreme Court now, you know what happened with these last three appointments. The Supreme Court has become a political animal. It's no longer the guardian of the law in this country. So when you look at all of those things, then you know that the Center for Systemic Democracies are right. You cannot argue that point when you look at what's happening around this country. It's a terrible situation that we could even think about being on the verge of civil war. And when I think about it, I say, you know, maybe these guys are right. You look around, and in every corner, there's anger and there's suppression. It's a terrible situation. I don't know if there's a man in politics who could pull us out of this mess. I don't know if it's possible to undo the damage that has already been done. It may take several generations to do it, if it really ever takes place again, because we have forces working to keep it this way. I don't have an answer. I don't have a good answer, but I'm going to keep watching this situation. And to hear on TV that we are on the verge of civil war is very upsetting. So I leave you with that, and I'll see you in the morning. Bye.